All right, we're now in the first chapter of Unit 5, which is the last unit for the course. So good job getting this far. So today is about classified ads, and what we're going to do is we're going to compute the cost of classified ads on used cars, and we're going to compute the cost of the sales tax on the auto. So looking at our first example, it says Carrie purchased a used car for $7,400 and had to pay 8.5% sales tax. How much tax did she pay? Well, what I'm going to do is rewrite my fraction as a decimal. 8.5 is the same as 8.5. And it is a decimal right now, so we do, or it is a percentage. We need to convert it to a decimal. So we're going to move that decimal point two times over, and it's going to be 7,400 times 0 .085, and that's going to give us, let's go ahead and pull up our calculator here, and we've got 7,400 times 0 .085, and it looks like we're paying in taxes $629. Please press pause, take a moment to solve this. When you're ready, come back and we'll get started. All right, it says the sales tax rate on Mary Ann State is 4%. She purchase a car, purchases a car for X dollars. Express the total cost of the car. So it's not just asking about the sales tax, it's asking about the total cost. So when you think about it, it says that the car was X dollars. So that's going to be part of our algebraic expression. And then in order to find the tax, we did the percentage as a decimal times that total cost, so it would be 0.04x. The last step that we need to do is we need to add the cost of the car and the tax together, and there's our algebraic expression. All right, number two, it says the cost of a classified ad is determined by its length. John plans to sell his car and places a five-line ad in the newspaper. They charge $31 for the first two lines and $6 per extra line to run the ad for one week. What will, the, what will John's ad cost to run for two weeks? So very important to notice that it's not just asking about one week. We're going to solve it for one week, but then we need to do something to make that for two weeks. So we know that it's $31 plus it's $6 for every line over the first two lines. So that's the equation that we would actually write. The first part here is the $31. That's the first cost of the two lines. Well, we don't want to recharge ourselves for those two lines, so we have to take those out. It's lines 3, 4, and 5 that are going to be charged at $6 a piece. So our next line, we're going to go ahead and combine this here, and we end up with 31 plus 6 times 3, which is 5 minus 2. So we have 31 plus 18, so the ad's cost is $49. But it's asking that, remember, this is for one week. So in order to get that to two weeks, it's very simple. We just take it and double it. Two weeks at $49 a week. So my final answer is that it is $98 for the ad for two weeks. Okay, for example three, it says Jason works at Glen Oaks News and is writing a program to compute ad costs. He needs to enter an algebraic representation of the cost of the ad. His company charges $42.50 for up to five lines and for a, uh, for a classified ad. Each additional line costs $7. Express the cost of an ad with X lines as a function algebraically. So it's basically asking us to create a piecewise function. We've done that many times. So we should be a little bit used to it now. So the first scenario is the basic cost, which is $42.50. And that is when um, there are greater than zero lines and up to 
and including five lines. So we have that little equal sign underneath there, so it's a less than or greater or less than or equal to sign. Then we need a scenario for anything that's over the five lines. So it's 4250 plus it says here that it's seven dollars for each additional line that is over those five lines. Now one thing I hope you realize because we've been doing this for a while here, whatever our value is when, our, when we're identifying the when of this function, it's the same value that goes into that portion of the second equation. And for this one, it's going to be when x is greater than five lines. And that's it. All right, please press pause. Go ahead and solve this. When you're ready, come back and we'll finish up. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. It says the Smith Smith Smithtown News charges $38 for a classified ad that is four or fewer lines long. Each line above four lines is an additional cost of $625. Express the cost of the ad as a piecewise function. So we're again looking at the cost of this ad, and it's $38 when I've got greater than, or I'm sorry, equal to or less than four lines. It's $38 plus $625 for anything that is over the four lines. So when x is greater than four. All right, example four, it says Roxanne set up the following piecewise function which represents the cost of an auto classified from her hometown newspaper. And so you can see the piecewise function as follows and it says if x is the number of lines in the ad, use words to express the price of c of x as a classified ad for this paper. So we've done something like this before, so we're just putting into regular words, not math terms, just everyday terms. So when I think of answering this question, imagine yourself working for this newspaper and somebody's calling in and asking what your rates are for them to place an ad. So this is how you would tell them. You wouldn't say, well, in this function, it's 41.55. You wouldn't say it like you would mathematically. So here you're gonna say the cost of the ad is $41.55 if there are six or less lines. Add 550 per line to that cost for over six lines. And that's all you need to do. So the cost of the ad is $41.55 if there are six or less lines. If there's more than six lines, you're gonna add $5.50 for every line over those six lines. All right, your turn. Go ahead and press pause. Take a second to write out in words how you would say this and press play when you're ready and we'll get back to it. All right, let's take a look at it. So it's $60 for an ad five or less lines. It is an additional eight dollars for each line Let me 
calculate that for each line over 8. Now, yours might look a teeny bit different than mine. Um, there are a few different ways to word this and say the same thing. So if you don't have word for word what I have, that's okay. You just want to basically be able to say, again, remember yourself as that salesperson. So somebody called in and it's $60 for the ad if it's five or less lines. If it's more than five, more than eight lines or more than five lines, sorry. So here this actually should be a five. Sorry about that. So it's for each line over five lines, it's going to be $8 per line over five. So ask yourself, would the customer understand that? All right, last question here. It says graph the piecewise function that, um, that Roxanne created for example four. So that was the one where it was 41.55 when it was basically six or less lines. It was 41.55 plus 5.50 um, when it was over six lines. So we're not going to do exacts here. You just need to understand the basic way that this happens. So we're going to say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And that's going to be our cost. Here we'll say it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll just kind of stop there with our tick marks. So we know that it's $41.55, so 5, 10, 15, let me go ahead and kind of label this, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I know that 41.50 is somewhere right above that 40. And that cost is going to be consistent all the way out through six lines. So one, two, three, four, five. Here is six lines. So coming up, that is where it's going to then start going up at 550 a line. So that's what your graph is going to look like. It's going to be a flat line for those first six lines and then it's going to start going up for each additional line. And the question says find the cusp of the following um, graph um, in this piecewise function. Please press pause, take a second to do that. When you get back, we'll finish up. All right, so if we think about this last graph here, it was basically that it was 41.55 up until that sixth line. Here is the cusp. It's where it changes. So in this case, it changes in lines on the x-axis when it hits five. It goes all, it's a flat line until we hit five, then it starts going up. And it's a flat line or where you are at that point when it's going to change for your y is 4250. And that is the cusp. And we're done with this lesson. Good job.